so today we are going to see how you can use web.config transformation uh, web.config transformation is a new feature of .NET 5.0 <coughs> so today we are going to cover uh, introduction and step by step I am going to demonstrate you keyword we are going to use some conclusion about that and any question you can have you can ask me so uh, first of all uh, uh, why it is required because uh, when in, in traditional approach what we do we just copy paste our values or connection string into a live environment web config so that's a boring work and that may be a type error and there are lots of entries you cannot copy paste every time so to avoid the typing mistakes and to make it very faster so to take 4.5 4.0 introduce a new feature called web.config transformation so how it works so when I when you open Visual Studio uh, go to build and configuration manager you are able to see uh, for a demo purpose I opened up uh, Visual Studio and when you go to build and configuration manager uh, you can add your new environment over there suppose I add QI environment then you can add QI environment over there I already read live and debug over there ok so when you go to web.config and click on uh, when you add new environment then that option is automatically enabled and you can add your config transformation from here ok so uh, suppose in my local uh, in uh, current connection string the uh, I'm going to use the local DB okay but uh, when I'm going to publish it uh, I use my live settings so in my live settings we have a live DB connection string and live QS server and as a data source okay so when you're publishing please keep in mind key your uh, environment is set according to the web.config config so because this keyword is going to match with this and and that way web.config transformation works so when you are going to pub I'm going to publish it click on that okay and publish so yes when I open it so what we see our web.config file is replaced by live SQL server and live DB okay so it's make very cleanly and very faster so how it happened uh, in that we have transform and the locator locator matches the application service in our current web.config and replace or set attribute to this so in that way it works and uh, suppose I want to again um, come to debug environment and go to debug and publish it so yes so when I open up so here it is this is my local div so in that way and you can achieve your transformation in a very cleanly manner so another thing you want to remember and keep in mind when you are on live environment or web config transformation the a new keyword Excel XML NS XTT is there and in the traditional web config it's only uh, there is only version one point zero. Okay, so in that way you can achieve web config transformation. So this is the approach you can use. This is a simple presentation. So as I told earlier, there are through a keyword which is going to use locator and transform, which is very important. Without that, you cannot achieve it. You have to locator to locator match the value, the damn value in the configuration, and according to the, according to the transformation set, it will replace, remove, insert. You can read it about. So that is not a big thing. So I believe that you have achieved something today. And thanks for watching my video if you have any comment any questions you can comment me out I definitely uh, answer your queries yeah thanks thanks for watching my video